Oh, hello there! Welcome to the first episode of the Storytellers! Um, I don't know how to start this video, to be honest. Since it's the first video of the series, I want to make a good impression. Am I doing good so far? <laughs> I'm glad to know. So, have you heard about this story called The Little Thief in the Pantry? This tale is about a compassionate girl who teaches a mouse the difference between giving and stealing. Well, shall we start reading the story? Mother dear, said a little mouse one day. I think the people in our house must be very kind, don't you think? They leave such nice things for us in a letter. There was a twinkling in the mother's eye as she replied. Well, my child, no doubt they are very well in their way. But I don't think they are quite as fond of us as you seem to think. Now, remember, Grey Whiskers, I have absolutely forbidden you to put your nose above the ground unless I'm with you. For kind as the people are, I shouldn't be at all surprised if they try to catch you. Grey Whiskers twitched his tail with scorn. He was quite sure he knew how to take care of himself, and he didn't mean to trot meekly after his mother's tail all his life. So as soon as she had curled herself up for an afternoon nap, he stole away and scampered across the pantry shelves. Ah, he was something particularly good today. A large iced cake stood far back upon the shelf, and Grey Whiskers licked his lips as he sniffed it. Across the top of the cake, there were words written in pink sugar. But as Grey Whiskers could not read, he did not know that he was nibbling a little Miss Elto's birthday cake. But he did feel a little guilty when he heard his mother calling. Off he ran and was back in the nest again by the time his mother had finished rubbing her eyes after her nap. She took Grey Whiskers up to the pantry then, and when she saw the hole in the cake, she seemed a little annoyed. Some mouse had evidently been here before us, she said, but of course she never guessed that he was her own little son. The next day, the naughty little mouse again popped up to the pantry when his mother was asleep. But at first, he could find nothing at all to eat, though there was a most delicious smell of toasted cheese. Presently, he found a dear little wooden house, and there hung the cheese just inside it. In red gray whiskers, but oh, click! When the little wooden house, the mousy was caught fast in a trap. When the morning came, the cook, who had set the trap, lifted from the shelf and then called a pretty little girl to come and see the thief who had eaten her cake. What are you going to do with him? asked Ito. Why draw him, my dear, to be sure. The tears came into the little girl's pretty blue eyes. You didn't know it was a stealing, did you, mousy dear? She said. No, quick, gray whisker sadly. Indeed, I didn't. Cook's back was turned for a moment. In that moment, tender-hearted, little Ethel lifted the lid of the trap and out popped Mousy. Oh, how quickly he ran home to his mother and how she comforted and patted him until he began to forget his fright. And then she made him promise never to disobey her again. And you may be sure, he never did. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> did you like it? Oh, nice. Mm, 
Did... Did you like me reading to you? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I hope to see you next time then. Good night. <laughs>